You're listening to the Waltz World Podcast, brought to you by the Lost Bros Trading Co. Join your hosts, John and Kaylee, as they banter about all things Disney, including Disney parks, resorts, dining, fashion, and movies. They'll keep you up to date with the latest Disney news and rumors, and they'll share their best tips and insight to make sure you have the best Disney vacation possible. So to all who tune into this happy place, welcome. It's the Waltz World Podcast. Hey friends, it's Tuesday, July 31st, 2018, and this is episode 15 of the Waltz World Podcast. I am Kaylee, and with me, as he is every week, John. How's it going, John? Good. I didn't get any, like, reference, like, no, like... No, I the couldn't Han think of it. The Han Solo anything. to my Luke Skywalker, or the Princess no. Leia to my Luke Skywalker. No, you didn't get anything. I don't always no. get one. I know, but I'll, I'll usually throw a little quip in there and, like, you know, start it's us off fine. on a laugh or something. Come on. <laughs> I thought it was good though. That was a great intro, Kaylee. I'm great. It's been a great. It's been a great weekend. A great week. Counting down the days till we get down there to mouse country. It's going to be so fun. All right. So today's episode, we are talking about, well, I kind of named it. I didn't know what you wanted to name it. I named it single rider or nah. <laughs> or nah. Single rider or nah. Is that N-A-H? Yeah. Because I didn't okay. know what you wanted to name it. So I named it yeah. that. Basically, we're going to be talking about the attractions at Walt Disney World that do offer an actual quote unquote single rider line. Um, and then we're going to be talking about some rides that we would ride single rider that don't necessarily have the line or rides that we would never ride single rider because we don't want to ride them alone. Of all the rides at Walt Disney World, at all the parks, there's only three single rider lines. Which is kind of crazy. I feel like they need to step their game up a little bit. But yeah. I don't know, because at the same time, the single rider line is like an alternative if you and your whole group want to ride it or if you just want to ride it, but you don't want to wait too long. So I feel like if they add a lot of those single rider lines to other attractions, it may like, you know, up the wait time of the single rider lines. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't think every ride is conducive to a single rider line. Like there's just some and we'll talk about some here in a little while, but there's some that just aren't that just don't make sense logistically or the ride doesn't really make sense, you know. Right. Um but there's three that we're going to talk about that have single rider lines. There's actually a fourth one that has a single rider line, but they don't utilize it as of yet. Ooh. Yeah, so we'll talk about it. And there used to be a fourth one, and it was used, and they have now stopped using it. So we'll talk about what that one is, too, here in a few minutes. Kaylee cannot figure out that what that one is. I, I cannot remember. I remember the mm. one that, that's gonna, there that they're not, not utilizing, but I can't yeah. remember the other one. So That's a tough one. It'll Someone be out there screaming, screaming right now, the answer. So let's start out with the three that are... That everybody knows that's a thing. There's a single mm -hmm. rider line. Test track. Would you ride it alone? Would you do the single rider line? I think test track is the best suited for a single rider line because you sit three in the front and three in the back. And most parties are like groups of four or two, even numbered groups usually, right? So there's more of a need to have that third person, that single rider to hop in there with that group of two or four. Um, and if there's a group of four, then two single riders can take those spots or a group of two that's willing to split up, whatever. I think it's the best option. Also, what's cool is that um, I have done both. I've done single rider in that ride and I've done with a group. And what I found is that even um, this is a true good use of single rider line because it's only usually like 10 to 20 minute wait. Usually the wait for single rider is about half of what the standby queue is, is kind of what you go by. Uh, but this one's always less, always less. 
because you don't have to wait on the, in that stupid room and make your car, which I, right. I, most of the time I'm like, I just want to go. Like, just let me go through. I don't care about doing this. Yeah, I don't know how to make them, like, do well anyway, so I don't really does care about them matter? either. I mean, how do we, like... It does how, matter how do if you're know? going with Cheddar Biscuits, who is very competitive and everything. <laughs> it matters. I so, like to make mine as girly as possible. I like to make mine as girly as possible, too. Stars. But usually glitter. girly isn't what's making the car go fast and passing all the agility <laughs> tests and all that. So whatever. <laughs> but I would totally I have ridden this ride alone. I would totally ride it alone again. It definitely doesn't bother me. And especially because there always is that odd number. So the good thing with single riders is, yes, most of the time you're going to be split up. But there always is that chance that they may be in like the same car as you or the same um, like on another ride that we're going to talk about, like the same, like tr- not train, but you yeah, know what I'm saying. I get what you're saying. Same thing. So yeah, yeah. I totally ride it. And I love that it has this because the wait is always so long, like ridiculously long. And if you don't have a fast pass for it, because you have to choose between that and Soren, which is a hard choice, um, do or the frozen single ride after or frozen ever after, which is hard to get. So usually it's between test track and, or in the next year or two, Guardians of the Galaxy ride. Yes. And I was thinking about that when I made my list. I was like, is that going to be a ride that I would ride alone? Because I don't know. It depends on how it's going to be. If, if it's like pitch black, I don't know. I guess we're going to have to talk, wait and and talk see, about but. that for a second. Let's just divert for a second. Chase this squirrel here. It's going to be the world's longest indoor roller coaster. I think that we're going to see a mix of Gringotts ride at Universal and Rock and Roller Coaster, I think is the, what we're going to see a mix of those two together. I don't think it's going to go upside down. I was thinking like Gringo, I was thinking like Gringotts and Mummy. Hmm. I hope it's not as cheesy as the Mummy. I hate the Mummy so much. Ugh. I hate that ride. I love the Mummy, but we're not talking about that park. I, I hope that ride doesn't go upside down because that stops a lot of people from riding rides. Like that stops a lot of people from riding rock and roller coaster because of the fact that it goes upside down. So I hope that it's just kind of like a fast indoor roller coaster that the whole family can enjoy. I'm sure it will be. I'm not worried about that at all. All right. Um, and the cool thing about Test Track, well, here's here's a little uh, the way when, that I um, attack Epcot in terms of fast passes and how do I do that and that kind of thing? So what I do is I will fast pass. The, the, you got the big three right now. You got Soren, you got Test Track, and you got Frozen Ever After. Those are the big three there that you have to have a fast pass for, or you're going to wait a long time, right? Those are the three that everyone wants a fast pass for. So what I do is I choose one that I'm going to fast pass. I'll usually choose Test Track because the chances of it breaking down is very high, and then they'll give you one of those use for anything fast passes. Um, so I'll fast pass one of them. I will rope drop one and I will do single rider in one if I had to. So like I would do fast pass. If I'm going to do single rider, I would single ride test track, obviously fast pass frozen ever after, and then rope drop Soren. And then you can get all three in, in like a two hour span. I agree. That's a good plan. It's, the thing, the great thing about the single rider lines is that it saves a lot of time. So if you do go to the park expecting to ride every attraction, it saves a lot of time. So you're able to do that either with your whole party or even if your whole party doesn't want to ride it and you just want to ride it. So that's kind of what I love about the element of the single rider line. Oh yeah. It's all about saving time. All about it. Now, the thing about this single rider line, you have to be at least seven years old to do it. So if you're traveling with young kids, you can't do that. You can't. Well, like can't one, pa- maybe one parent could go, or one adult in the party could go with the kids that want to ride it, and then watch. You know, if there's younger kids, you know, I mean, it, it just depends on the family and the party and whatever is going on. But that is something to think about. Yes, but I mean, I don't know if you would want your seven year old to ride a ride alone, anyways. I'm not sure. Like from a parent's standpoint. Yeah, if you're going to single ride it with them, so like if you're just going to be in line the whole time, they're just going to ride the ride alone. I I wouldn't feel cool with it, but like some kids are, you know, 
not mature enough at seven years old to ride a ride by themselves, but you know, maybe at the age of 10, they are or whatever. Um, Mm -hmm. so I I would, that's probably just a case by case thing, but I would just be careful with that. Exactly. Okay. So next switching over to animal kingdom, Mount Everest single rider line. This is a good one too. It's a good one, but I don't think I would ever ride this ride alone. Um, the dark, going backwards in the dark, not a fan of being alone during that. Oh. I am terrified of the huge Yeti at the end. I love this ride. Like, this is always one of my must-dos at Animal Kingdom, but I, you will not catch me riding it alone. <laughs> That's just the thing, but yeah. That's no, sad. thank you. No, thank well, you. <laughs> what's nice is I like that it's got its own line. Like, it's a separate thing. Like, um away from the queue altogether. Like it's by itself pretty much. Yeah. Um, this is one where the wait time is always shorter than it actually says it's posted. So it'll say a posted wait time. Maybe one time specifically it said 40 minutes. I waited 12 for it. So don't always go off of it. Um, this is one where there's, it's a two seater. So the, the next ones we'll talk about are also two seaters. The next one we'll talk about is a two seater, but <clears throat> I think two seaters and three seaters are just they're just made for it because you got groups of three then and six, uh, three and five that need that extra person or whatever. Um, it's always good, um, and it seems like it goes pretty quick. To be honest, um, I've never noticed it just kind of being like a standstill. I I wouldn't know because I would not get into that line. Ever. That's really sad, Kelly. And they're, they're, I mean. They're, this one does have it have a tendency though that they will not allow people to go in the single rider line on this ride. I have seen the, it closed before. The thing the thing about it is I guess I would do it if my whole group was doing it, but if it was just me at the parks alone, I'm not going to ride this ride alone. Because the next ride that we talk the next ride that we talk about I rode alone surprisingly or whatever, but I would never, it was just the comfort of the fact that people I knew were like on the same train as I was. <laughs> so maybe, why? maybe in that what case, I don't it? know. I just like the comfort of having somebody next to me, especially in the dark. And then that big Yeti at the end, I just don't. And I think it doesn't even move. I know, but it's still really scary. And I think with a ride like that and, you know, the next ride that we'll talk about, it's a little bit more enjoyable having somebody next to you that you know, um, because I don't, I don't know. I just feel like I can be more of like myself and how I like to ride rides when I'm next to somebody that I know. If I'm riding next to a stranger, I'm like not going to be uh, maybe as obnoxious as I usually am on rides <laughs> I don't know I it's just like it's just a comfort like I said just a comfort they hate that that rod's going down pretty soon for refurbishment and they're fixing the yeti finally so Joe <gasps> Rody's gonna fix the yeti is that a joke no it's that's serious it's happening oh my god I'm I literally would, I like would look for it to happen in the next month oh I'm going to, I can, like, I don't, I'm going to cry on that ride at the end. Like, I already get so scared. I cannot ride on the right side. Like, you will <laughs> not catch me riding next to right where the Yeti is at the end of the ride. It's not going to grab you. Let alone mean? if that puppy starts moving. I don't care. Oh, yeah. It moved back it's in the huge. day. It's huge. I think it moved for, like, the first I'm not about couple that. months. And then it hasn't Moving moved on, since. please. <laughs> I'm pretty stoked about it. So look for that the next month or so. It's going to go down for several months, I would say. Jeez. Yeah. So you better ride it now (laughs) while you can, people. That just like gives me chills. Next, rock and roller coaster. And I say yes to this ride because I have done it before, but it was, again, the comfort. My sister and my brother-in-law were in the same train as I was. Um, But again... Not that I didn't have as much fun, but when I ride that ride, I like to like sing and scream and just like oh. have a lot of fun. I mean, I still scream because hello, the beginning, like I scream, I can't help it, but hello, um, hello, the beginning, <laughs> but 
I just like to sing during that ride. And I was just, I was next to like an older man and it was just, it wasn't as enjoyable. So yes, yes, I would ride it single rider if my whole party was riding it single rider. No, I would never ride it completely by myself if I'm at the parks one day by myself, because again, it's a comfort thing. Like to just have at least people on the same train, like God forbid anything happens, like you have people there, you know, I don't know. It's like, you're going down with me. If I'm going down, you're all going down. Exactly. <laughs> I have never seen issues um, with the other the other two rides we talked about in terms of single riders. But Rock and Roller Coaster, I've seen more angry guests on this ride in the single rider line on on this ride than I have in, ever anywhere else. Like I don't know what it is, but they get people try to sneak through as a group of two or three people. Like I've seen it. Um, and they try to do it through, through the single rider line. And I've seen people like yelling at cast members, no, no other ride, but this one in terms of single rider line, I saw a guy and his wife got in that line. They said they didn't know it was a single rider line. It is off. It's posted several times that it's the single rider line. They just said they didn't know it was the single rider line and they were just like berating the cast member. Yeah. It was, it was really uncomfortable, really uncomfortable to see and, and be around. The thing that I can say is when we did ride at single rider, the, the weight was there and I don't know what it was. Maybe just the time that I wrote it, it was a lot of like even number parties. So when there are a lot of even number parties, you're, there's two seats in a row, you're going to be waiting there for a while. Um, that's the only thing, but yeah, I would not I regular queue it. that ride ever. I would never I would never r- wait in the regular queue for that ride. Well, you don't even like it enough to. I do like that it to begin fine. With. I just like I can ride it once a trip and I'm good. One yeah. one time, I'm good. I only ride it like when you guys come or if I'm with like my sister or something. So yeah, that's like enough for me. And and that's what makes me happy though, because like when you get you and Cheddar Biscuits are there, I'm like, yes, Kaylee can ride this ride with Krista, and me and Cheddar Biscuits can go play Toy Story Midway Mania over and over and over and over and over again. Right. And unlock all the secrets. <laughs> so those are the three, right? Those are the three, those are the three single rider rides that are functioning, functioning single rider lines. There's a fourth one that, that, that is out there that if you pay close attention when you're at animal kingdom in Pandora and you're going to ride fly to passage, there's a single rider line there. It's right in the middle between the fast pass and the standby queue. They usually have it covered up, but that is there. And I don't know when they're going to open it. I, I don't know when, what the rhyme or reason is to it, but they have it. So we can look forward to that. Maybe I would ride that alone. I think. Oh yeah. Because oh, yeah. that's such like a, like a one person experience. Like you don't need like your friend or whoever to experience it with you or like on rock and roller coaster or Everest, it's like a little bit more fun to have somebody next to you to enjoy it. But that's just like you. I don't know. I would totally ride that alone. That would be amazing. If that's they a ever... total single person ride. Um, I, my only, my only concern about it is, is how they're going to govern and make it a true single rider line. Like how are they going to govern that two people, can't get in that line and ride it together every time, you know, like how, cause it does lend itself to parties being mixed up and shifted and things like that. Cause like you get in that, you get to that uh, merge point and you either go up or you go down. Right. Mm-hmm. And so they're like, okay, fast pass, how many? And you're like four and they send you all down. Well, that's where the single rider line is going to merge in too. So like if they're like, all right, single rider you're gonna come in go down three of you guys go down well if you're three together you know what i'm saying like i don't know how they're gonna govern it i feel like it's gonna be an easy way for people to sneak through without waiting i agree i agree um i guess we'll just have to wait and see if they ever open it and up. they may never open it up they may never open they it up may ever. never open it up which will be fine they may test it hopefully they'll test it and see how it goes first all right kaylee do you know the what big the ride reveal. was? Do you know what the one ride was that used to have a single rider line that now does not? I like I I truly do not know. Soren. Soren. Okay. I feel like I did know that. 
But All right. it, that's kind of the same thing as, as flight of passage. It's a very individual, like you're in you, you're, your own experience. It's not necessarily about the people around you. Right. But then it's still like, how did they govern that? I would like to know someone who did that. Like, how did they ensure that people weren't just trying to sneak through a group of six people through the single router line so they could be together. Right. You know? Yeah. But I would ride that alone. It was on my list of rides that I would ride alone in general. Oh, so. well, spoiler alert. But yeah, that spoiler used to have a router line. And that was back before they added the, the extra theater and all that jazz. Theater, and yeah. Okay. Well, that's probably why they took it out then. <laughs> yeah. And that might be why they've not done, done, done it for Flight of Passage because they kind of learned from their mistakes with Soren. Yeah, I could see that. All right, so let's move on to rides that does not rides that does not rides that do not have single rider. That do we not would have single ride rider alone that we or would ride. should should or would. Um, I'm just gonna we'll start with Magic Kingdom, and I'm just gonna say my list, and then you can say your list, and we can kind of talk about it. Mm-hmm. Um, so mine for Magic Kingdom is Big Thunder, Pirates, Peter Pan, Winnie the Pooh, Mine Train, and Little Mermaid. Those are all the rides that I would ride. Alone, solo. What about you? I would ride everything alone. <laughs> but what I think should have a single rider line should have it is Big Thunder Mountain should have a single rider line. Same principle as as um, Rock and Roller Coaster or um, expedition Everest because you know party of three you got one person sliding around by themselves in their little seat um, I think that um, it's pointless for Space Mountain to have one because you're sitting one at in a row anyways so like mm-hmm. it's easier for them just to be like is there a party of one I think it's just easier that way um, but I could right. see them doing one I could see them using that um I don't know why. I think if you had single rider for Peter Pan, Haunted Mansion, Little Mermaid, that's weird because it's you such can't. an can't. Those are such an intimate ride, and it's like like you said, there's no like divider. Like on rides where there's like two separate seats, not like a row. Like big like I Big Thunder, no, because I don't want somebody sliding all over <laughs> me that I don't know. But yeah. If it's, I mean, then that's just me, but. What about Splash Mountain? Would you, would a single rider, I think a single rider line for Splash Mountain would be amazing. Absolutely not. You're sweaty, you're getting wet, (laughs) and you're next to a stranger. No, thank you. Oh my gosh. No, thank you. And I mean, there are other things at Magic Kingdom that I would ride alone. I just listed the rides that I actually ride now often that I would ride alone yeah no yeah i would ride everything alone i have uh, jungle cruise all day i would just ride it alone and i love it jungle cruise yeah of course Pirates like i said i'm alone. just listing a couple of i don't babies. well if you, i'm not gonna I, be like every ride i get that well i i would ride every ride alone i would i i think that with that i get that now what you're saying about it being a bench seat and you're kind of sharing the seat that's weird Mm-hmm. That may be why there's not a single rider line at, at Magic Kingdom. The only one that could is, I guess, Space uh, Space Mountain's the only one that Mine could. Mine Train? <sighs> Mine Train, you have two separate yeah, seats. kind of. But all the other, almost all the other ones are bench seats. Peter Pan, Winnie the Pooh, all of those. But I don't even think Mine Train bench. would be worth it. I don't even think that it would need... I don't think it... I don't think you would need it, but if... You it know, could have one. It, it would be ha- able to have one. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Everything else. I can't even imagine what a single rider would be like. Like if you're riding Haunted Mansion by yourself and then there's some random person beside you, like that's such a weirdly intimate <laughs> thing to ride with some rando. Absolutely not. And so, so while we're talking about Magic Kingdom, I'll just say the ones that I would not ride alone at Magic Kingdom yeah. since you would ride every single ride. By yourself in Magic Kingdom, uh, Space Mountain, and Haunted Mansion. Haunted Mansion because <laughs> it's spooky and so weird. It's dark. I'm not. No, not I'm not scary, doing it. Though. I would be so scared. I can't do like dark things alone. So that's exactly why I would not do Space Mountain alone. And also because 
I get like anxiety when I get on a ride I want to ride it and get off and (laughs) there was a time where like cheddar biscuits and I got stuck like right at the end like almost when you're about to turn around that loop or turn around that bend Mm -hmm. to pull into the station to get off we got stuck right there and it was like for such a short amount of time but I was like panicking so did not have like somebody that I knew like behind me or in front of me and like something like that happened, I would be so scared. So to just like avoid any of that like happening, I would just not ride it alone. And I'm assuming like with Haunted Mansion, I would be riding it like alone in my own doom buggy, not oh, okay. like with not like riding next to a stranger, like just alone. Yeah. Um. I yeah. would. I can't. It's just it's dark and it's just spooky. Now and I, really I mean I know want to ride Haunted Mansion with you. Like that's like I that's on my bucket list to do because I just want to see your reaction. It's so to everything. it's so annoying, and every time we break down, you're gonna see me look at you and be like, "This is why I don't ride this ride because it breaks <laughs> down every five seconds." That's amazing. I actually, do, I do the same thing to my sister because she loves riding the Haunted Mansion, so we always ride it. And every time we stop, I'm like, "See, this is why I don't ride this." But that's it's so fine. odd to me. That's so odd. <laughs> what about country bears? Right. Would you do the country bear jamboree single rider? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, any of like the show type things, I would obviously do those alone. That wouldn't bother obviously. me. Buzz, Buzz Lightyear. Um, I didn't list Buzz Lightyear as like one that I would not do alone or one that I would do alone because if I had to do it alone, I would. But I don't think it would be as fun to do it. Oh, by yeah, yourself. It would. Well, if you know the tricks, it's fun regardless because you're going to max out. Like, I know the tricks. I know where to shoot people. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't score very well on that ride. But I think it's more fun with those competitive games to, like, have somebody That's true. next to you. That's well, the only reason that why. One, though, the problem with that one is, like, if you're the one that's not controlling the movement of the cart, like, you're kind of at the mercy of the other person. So, like, if you're riding that with some random person. Can you imagine? I would be so mad if they're like spinning me in a direction I didn't want to go in. Krista's always yelling at me on that ride. She's like, you're, you're spinning it. So I can't get the shoot it in the right place. You're spinning. I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm just spinning it like normal. Like, I don't know. Like I can't see from your viewpoint. I just know on that ride that I'm not going to do very well. So I still try, but it doesn't bother me. Like I mean, if it was like a if it was like a stranger like moving me around, I would be annoyed. But if it's whoever I'm riding with controlling it, I don't really care. I'll tell I'm you just where gonna... to shoot, Kaylee. Y'all can beat Cheddar Biscuits next time y'all go. Yeah, I, Cheddar Biscuits has never gotten um, Galactic <gasps> Hero either. Oh, I'll tell you where to shoot, so. and you'll get Galactic Hero every time. Yeah, I want that. But so it's not that I wouldn't ride alone because I'm like scared of the dark or anything like the other two. It's just because I think it's more fun if you ride it with somebody else. It is. I think the Toy Story Midway Mania or Toy Story Mania now. Toy Story Mania is more fun when you're riding with someone. I than, completely than agree because you help each other get yeah. like the bonuses and stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, I try my best to help Cheddar Biscuits. He's way better at that game than I am again. Oh, we but killed it that night. Me and him rode it. We killed it. If you're riding it, yeah. If you're riding it with two people who have, like, really good aim and are really good at stuff like that, like hand-eye coordination, <laughs> I guess I'm not. <laughs> I don't have that. But that it makes definitely makes it more fun. What if they had a single rider line for the people mover? How would you feel about that? I really wouldn't care because I still wouldn't ride it. Would you ride the people mover with a random person? No. (laughs) Because I don't, I, A, I don't want to ride it to begin with. B, why would I want to ride it with a stranger? That's again, it's one of those intimate rides like Little Mermaid, Hanuman. Okay, I'll get to know you at Casey's (laughs) or like some, somewhere else. I, you know, that that makes me sound so bad. Like one of my listeners is like, "Hey, let's ride the people mover." <laughs> yeah, what if one of our listeners that you've never met would love to ride the people mover with you? I would do it, but I would know, I would know that they were shady. They were shady cuz they knew I didn't like it, but I would still do it with them. Next one, Hollywood Studios. Hollywood Studios. Muppets 3D, obviously, all day by myself. This is yours. This is your by yourself list. Muppets 3D. Yep. Okay. All right. 
<laughs> uh, I, again, I would ride everything by myself. <laughs> like I, I don't, there's not a ride I wouldn't ride by myself. No, see, you're not making this fun. Teacups. Okay. I would not ride the teacups at Magic Kingdom by myself because that would be boring. That would be very boring. The there's a there's another one. Let's go back. Hold on. Let's there's another one. The Tomorrowland Speedway. That would be boring. That would be so boring. That would be very boring by Dumbo. yourself. That's why. Boring. Dumbo. Boring. Yeah. That's yeah. it. So there's three right there. I would not ride by myself. Okay. Well, Hollywood Studios. Sorry. <laughs> Two I would ride by myself. Oh. And again, I'm mentioning the rides that I, you know, mm-hmm. want to mention. I'm not going to mention rides that I don't like riding. Okay. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> so two rides that I would ride by myself, Slinky Dog Dash, Aliens Rolling Saucers, rides that I would not ride or rides that I would never ride alone, uh, Tower of Terror <laughs> oh, and Star Tours. Surprise. surprise, Tower of Terror by yourself. You wouldn't do it. S- no, it's the comfort and the dark thing again. It's just the comfort of having somebody next to me. Because no matter how many times I ride rides like that or rock and roller coaster, like my heart rate is accelerating no matter what. <laughs> so um, it's just, it's again, the comfort of having somebody there. Star Tours, I don't like that ride enough to ride it by myself. And again, like anytime you're like jumping through like, whatever hyperspeed. space like hyperspace. hyperspeed and you're like doing all that shaking like i swear to gosh i'm having a heart attack every time <laughs> so again it's the comfort and i just don't even like that ride enough to ride it want to ride it by the last myself, couple so. times i've ridden that ride it smelt like vomit in the uh I, it's because spacecraft. there's no airflow like absolutely yeah. no airflow in that spacecraft so imagine me riding it having yeah. a heart attack and there's no airflow I'm i think like that's dying. what's that's what makes flight of passage easier to ride because you have that air constantly blowing in your face oh yeah if there's airflow i can do it all day long but no airflow and it's it's in it's enclosed too if it was like a theater and maybe there wasn't good airflow that's different but the fact that you're like in a box how are you gonna do the millennium falcon ride because it's gonna i don't think i'm gonna be able to do it box kind of i feel like i can't i We'll talk about a ride at Epcot that is the same thing that I'm not, you know, no. The Millennial Falcon, I will ride it because I obviously want to experience it, but I am not going to say that I'm going to like it or that I'm going to ride it again. That's it. (laughs) Slinky Dog Dash and Aliens Throwing Saucers, though. I just, I like those rides, so I would totally ride them by myself. I wouldn't know. They're fun. I I wouldn't know those. The Aliens Throwing Saucers, again, is a little bit more fun if you have somebody there because it's kind of like the two of you, like, Mm -hmm. you know, being, like, tossed around in the um, little saucer, but I would still ride it by myself. I didn't mention Midway Mania because it's obviously more fun if you have more than one person. So Yeah. I would ride at Hollywood Studios. I would ride everything by myself. There's not I mean there's not that many rides, so I would ride everything by myself. Would I enjoy riding it by myself? No. I would not enjoy riding rock and roller coaster by myself. Well that's myself. what I'm saying. Like I'm trying to like but, talk about rides that I would like seek out to ride by myself i would seek you know? out to ride tower terror by myself without anyone else in there with i knew me. i already knew you would want to do that and that would be like my worst nightmare like somebody could record me and like they would get paid a lot of money to release that video of me riding it completely alone because i would be scared how scary that ride would be if it was just you I would be crying. I would <laughs> get off of it crying. Let me tell you, this this popped up in my head thinking about this. The worst experience I've ever had at Disney was at that ride. My uh, wife, Krista, our best friends, Jamil and Trent, were um, in line to ride that ride. And we waited until as late as possible before closing. We waited at the front gate where you scan your fast pass the first time. And we said, we want to wait and be the last people on there because that way we would be the only four in the ride at the time. And that's what we wanted. And so they're like, yeah, 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 no problem. So we waited and waited, waited. They said, all right, go on through. You guys will be able to be the last one. So we go through, we get into the, into the hotel. We are in the room with the pre-show by ourselves. And we're like, this is going to be so awesome. 
we get into the furnace room and they just loaded a car. Okay. When we get up to the loading area and the cast member, I said, uh, he said, how many? I was like four. And I said, but they've all told us that we could have a car by ourselves. He literally raises his voice like 20 decibels from where it was before. (laughs) You're not going to have your own car. They didn't say that. You're going to get in that car right there. And I'm like, not in character, but like yelling at us. And I look back at like them and I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, is this for real? And I said, but the dude literally five feet behind us right there just said And we've been waiting this whole time to ride this by ourselves. We're the last group. And he's like, there's four seats in that one. And you're going to ride it right now. (laughs) If you want to ride it, you're riding that one. I was so angry. The whole At that point, I was just like, I don't even want to ride it now. Like, I I don't. I would not ride it. If somebody did that, that is so funny. (laughs) And I think I was in like, I didn't complain about him to anybody. I was in shock that he was like that. Because like at Disney... (laughs) You don't see cast members like that for no reason. Like I wasn't angry or mean to him. I was just like, uh, the cast member said that we could get the last car of the night by ourselves. And he's just like, no. Yeah. At that point I would just be like, okay, I'm not even going to ride it because to me, also I'm just like weird about like things like happening for a reason. And if somebody is like acting that way about me wanting to ride something by myself, then I'm taking that as a sign that I shouldn't ride it by myself. So I would either still ride it like the cast member is telling me to ride it, or I would just take, take the elevator down. It was just, it just made me so awkward. And like, I'm not going to have a confrontation with someone like that in public too. I would probably just start laughing, honestly. Like, that just sounds so funny. Like, I could understand why you were upset because you had waited and you were told one thing and then like, another cast waited, member like, telling you another. We waited 40 minutes, Kaylee. We waited like 40 minutes to be able to do that by ourselves. And other people get to do it all the time. Every night, there's a group gets to do it by themselves. And literally, <laughs> we walked onto the elevator and we felt so awkward because all these people are like looking at us like... This is so awkward, you know, like then you feel (laughs) awkward and then the whole ride is just weird and like it wasn't even fun. And then you're not even enjoying it. Yeah, exactly. I didn't enjoy a second (laughs) of it. I still like if if I run across that guy again, I'm going to talk to his manager and be like, look, back in May of 2018. (laughs) That is like, it's honestly kind of funny though. Like thinking about it now, you got to admit, but yeah, it was in March, I guess it was, but it was, it's funny now, but like it's still, I'm getting fired up. I'm triggered. Right now, I am triggered. I like, I really think that's funny, but okay, let's talk about a different part. You wouldn't have thought it was like, funny if you were there. You'd been ticked. I know you would. Yeah, know I probably would have been like. <laughs> you would have went off. You would have went off. Moving on next. Uh, where do you want to go next? Animal Kingdom? Let's go Animal Kingdom, yeah. So, rides that I would ride alone, Safari, Dinosaur, Flight of Passage, River Journey, rides I would not ride alone, none. You would ride Dinosaur alone, but you wouldn't ride any of the other things you've mentioned? Because it's like, I know, I had to think hard about this one because it is in the dark and I do get scared. But it's like a row, you have a whole row of people, so that's a little bit more comforting. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Strangers? But I said none. To rides I would never, like rides that I would not ride alone because we already talked about Everest Mm -hmm. earlier and I said that I would not ride that alone, so. What about the Navi River Journey? Would you ride that alone? I said, yeah, I said River Journey. Sorry, I I was fixated on the the, uh, dinosaur. Yeah, Yeah, I mean, River Journey, it's just such a short boat ride. I mean, why not ride it by yourself if you can? Um, What about the safari? Did you mention the safari? Would you ride the safari alone? Definitely. Because the safari, you don't really do like a lot of talking and interacting with the people next to you. It's more of like listening and observing and learning. So I I would ride it alone. The second worst experience I've ever had at Disney was on that ride as well. That's the second worst experience was on that ride. <laughs> the tour guide. Why? the t- Well, the person driving, one, did not stop a single time. Did not stop a single time on the ride. To see the animals? Not one single time did she stop. Number or he okay. stopped. Number two, he talked so low, monotoned, and and like without any commas or periods in his sentences, that you couldn't understand a word that he was saying. 
It was like, remember how you're in here, everyone? Or there is a giraffe or a wildebeest. And you're like, what did he just say? Oh, my say? gosh. And I was just like. Yeah. I'm trying to think of, like, horrible experiences I've had at Disney. And there's not one that really, like, pops into my head aside from staying at the All-Star movies. But we don't need to talk about that again. But as far as, like, attractions and cast members, I can't think of, like... That wasn't a bad a- cast member. He just sucked at his job. Yeah. And maybe he was new and still, mm. you know, getting, like, the gist of things. There's always, you know, you don't necessarily know what's going on. And I but- get, like, that's monotonous. That's a very monotonous thing, job. But it's not more mm-hmm. monotonous than the Jungle Cruise. Yeah. You know? Like... I agree. But... Have you not had like very monotone and boring people on the Jungle Cruise too? The the worst like ex- experience, like not cast member experience, but the worst ride experience, even worse than that one was Jungle Cruise during cast member training. Oh yeah, I my remember. Gosh. I remember this story. <laughs> the girl. Oh my gosh! Like it, she just she was not cut out for that job. At least then you knew that she was in the process of training. Where like when you're on that safari, like that guy should have already known there was what no he was hope, doing. Though. But there was no hope. This girl, there's no way that girl stayed at the Jungle Cruise. There's no way she did not have a comedic <laughs> bone. Because you have to. It's all about timing on that ride. That your comedic timing. She did not have comedic timing. It, it, you can't just learn that. Like she just did not have it. There was no right. way she needed to be like a princess or work at like. Bibbidi bobbidi boutique or something like she had no personality at all. She was the worst. I feel like that was just like a little sexist. I'm not here for it. Sexist? How's that sexist? She can be a princess or work at Bibbidi bobbidi boutique. That's like two of the most girliest jobs. Is that better? Like go be Gaston then. Yes. I don't know what you want me to say. Go work. I don't know. You just need like two of the girliest jobs to do. (laughs) At Walt Disney World. And well, then you said she had no wanna, personality. Like, well, I didn't want to like be like, go be a janitor or go serve food. Like, that would be bad, too. Um. Well, there's like a lot of janitors at Walt Disney World. So I don't think that it's bad. Oh, my gosh. Because you can be like, well, you're trying to say a women are only only women can do janitor work can pick up trash after people. Only women no. can serve food. Only women Absol- can be Mickey Mouse. No, it's not insane. Absolutely not. These people. But. You just named. Them. I was just trying to think of two jobs that did that didn't take very much personality to do. What do you mean? You have to have personality if you're a princess. And at the Bibbidi Boppity Boutique, are you kidding me? You know how much personality it takes to deal with children all day. Yeah, you don't have to have personality there. I met. We met a bell when we had Akershush back like three Christmases ago. The bell there. She hated life. Like it was, if you watch Bob's Burgers, it was as if Tina from Bob's Burgers was in a bell costume. Like she was miserable, Tina, monotoned, <laughs> just like, hey, I'm Bill. Yeah, the beast is over there. Yeah, I like to read. I don't know. You want a photo? And we're just like, okay, sorry to bother you while you're at work. <laughs> <laughs> That's whatever funny. whatever which bob okay, burgers so, i love that show sorry go ahead are there any rides at animal kingdom that you would not ride alone see safari kind of worries me i would not ride safari by myself without anyone else in the truck oh absolutely not that scares the crap you out try of me and, yeah no thank you especially at night yeah no range i'll take a rain track how do they keep that line from jumping off that rock onto the truck. That's what I want to know. What's keeping that line from charging the truck and getting all up in my business? And by in my um, business, I mean eating me. I actually, if it was during the day and I was like in the passenger seat of the front with the cast member, I think I would ride it alone. But at night, I'm not going to be like, I'm not going to be like in the rows. Yeah. By myself <laughs> at night. Absolutely not. Giraffe sticking its head in there, licking you. Okay, if it was a draft, sure, but what about a rhino or like <laughs> a lion? The lion, I don't know. The lion, they they have to have something to where if they jump down on those rocks, like the wall from the bottom of the rocks to like the top of where the road is, I don't think they can like reach. I don't. 
I don't know. I don't know. But there's definitely something to like keep them in that, in that area because you never see them. Even at night, you never like not see them on their little like pride rocks. Yeah. Whereas like the white rhino and stuff, you kind of like see those more around and stuff. I'm more know. scared of the ostriches than I am of any other animal on that safari. <laughs> They are crazy. They're, that's probably the one animal I'm most scared of is an ostrich. They're basically dinosaurs. Oh my gosh. Okay. And they run really fast. So if you try to run from them, you're like, you're basically SOL if you try to run from them. But yeah, basically, they're basically. crazy. They're scary. Yeah. So that's the only ride that is like a little questionable if you would ride it alone or not. Yeah. Depending on the circumstances. Okay. Let's talk about Epcot. There's obviously not a ton of rides to choose from at Epcot. I mean, there's, well, there wasn't a ton that Animal Kingdom either, so. But um, rides that I would ride alone at Epcot, Soren, Frozen, and Nemo. Rides that I would not ride alone, Mission Space. I'm sure you know why I would not ride Mission Space alone. Because A, you're enclosed. B, it's dark. Like, you're... Uh, absolutely not. And I get sick on it. I don't like it. It's not... It's literally like... Probably like I panic on a lot of rides, but that is probably like the least enjoyable ride for me that I have ever rode. Like, talk about a bad experience on a ride. Which like one did that you was ride? just green or orange? Orange, of course, because I was with Cheddar Biscuits insane. and he likes that ride. And like, obviously, if we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it big and we're gonna do it right, and we're not gonna go on the green. Have you ever ridden the green so, side? No, and I have no desire to because I'm still going to be enclosed. But you and have air I can't in your face. That. No, it's not good enough. I don't. It's a lot I, of air in your face. I can't. Like I said, that was that's the one ride that like I can remember. Like I've never wanted to get off a ride so bad in my whole entire life. Oh my like, gosh. Riding that, like I was terrified. I seriously didn't think I was going to make it off that ride alive. Like I was panicking. Thank gosh, it's not a very long ride. It's pretty short, in my opinion. You you launch and then you go into hypersleep and then you like do a little crash landing and that's it. So thank gosh for that. That is pretty short. But that, like I said, was just like miserable for me. The f- Never, first ever. time I ever rode that ride, I rode it by myself. And did I loved you enjoy it. it? Yeah, I loved it. It was you fun. liked the ride. Yeah. See, I was wondering because we had talked about it because when I first. When we first met, you had never rode it. Yeah, I right? was. Yeah, I hadn't ridden it until March of this year of 2018. Right, and you, but you were kind of weary about it because of the whole motion sickness thing, and so do I. Yeah, Art Star Tours is really hard for me to ride just because of the motion sickness. It's the hyperspace that makes me nauseous. The hyperspace, right? I mm-hmm. can't do it. The so I was worried about it, but I rode it, and I'm like. There's these little kids in line with me. Did you do green or orange? I did green. green. I'm doing, I'm going to, I've got a fast pass to do orange in a couple weeks. Yeah. I mean, you have to try the orange. I'm I mean, try it. it's Epcot, I just like, so there's plenty of places to peek if I had to. I can't with it being enclosed. Like that's. It, I, I was I, worried about that. And I, as long as there was air in my face and there was, I, I was good. Like I felt fine with the air. In my face, and I actually got Krista to ride it. I got Krista to ride you it. Got Krista to ride it when we were there in May. She wrote it. I didn't know she wrote yeah, it. She How'd she like feel? It. She didn't like it. the closed in thing because mm-hmm. the green side you don't really feel it. Like you feel just as much as you do when you're riding Soren on the green side now. Like it's barely anything at all. See, I don't. I wouldn't. I have nothing to compare it to. All I know is I had a horrible time on the orange. Yeah. So I'm like. The green would probably be better, but I still, I don't you think I would enjoy it. You literally, there's less movement on the green side than Star Tours or Do you Soarin. like tilt all the way up on the green side like you do on the orange? Like yeah, when you go you for the launch? Mm-hmm. Oh, see, that's, that was like one thing that really like, mm, cannot do that. <laughs> I just like, I have a lot of like animosity towards this ride and it's mostly oh because of fear. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think you should give green a chance just because I think it's I, easy. It's literally it sh- easy. The claustrophobic, I can't. Like, it's too enclosed. Like, Star Tours is already bad for me because of in- how enclosed it is. Like, that is, like, row by row enclosed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. And it's not and just, really- like, the front. Like, it's not just, like, the front panel being, like, pushed on you. It's, like, this. And they have barf bags in there, like, for a reason. Like, it's. 
you know, the know, green just, side though, you don't, unless you're just like, if you have a hard time riding in a car, like you're going to have do. a hard time with this, but like, I do, I, I get sick. I felt less movement on it than I did star tours or anything else I've ridden there. Like, yeah, it's, it's easy. It's easy. Yeah. Um, I would. So is there any ride at Epcot that you wouldn't do? Impressions of France. I haven't been on that in forever. <laughs> I really didn't even count. I didn't even count movie. anything in the world showcase <laughs> because those are just ri- like filler rides to me. <laughs> like if I'm like bored and I'm like, oh, hey, let's go ride. Like that's just a filler ride. If you don't want to ride Mission Space, you're not going to ride Impressions of France. I mean, it's intense, guys. It's pff, baguettes are, are flying you at you. It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> It's just a movie. It's just a movie. That's all it is. It's a movie That's not theater. Even a, that doesn't even count. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Guys, it's intense though. I've never been on it, so I wouldn't know. But So I guess that wraps it up then. Every park. Talking about our single all riders. The single riders. All the single riders. All the single Absolutely riders. not. I'm like scarred imagining the Yeti moving. Oh my gosh. Didn't they stop it for a reason? Like it didn't break. Like somebody got hurt on it, didn't they? No, you made that up. No, it's a fact. Google it. There's no way that happened. It was, it just broke. If someone got hurt, there's no way that Yeti would even still be in there. Right. Well, okay. Star Tours is still functioning and somebody had a heart attack on that. So yeah, that's a different though. That's different though. Well, somebody had a heart attack because the... they saw a big Yeti. Oh, come That's on. That's going to be me. Come on. You're not going to have a heart attack and die. I'm not going to have a heart attack and die, but I'm going to be pretty scared. I mean, I have a heart condition and I still ride all of those rides. I have a heart condition too, and I don't even care. I'm like, if I die riding a ride, I die happy. What a way to go though, right? <laughs> if That should be a topic we talk about is if you could die on any ride at Disney World, which one would you rather die on? Probably rock and roller coaster because it'd be quick. <laughs> I would hate to die on that ride. That would be like a nightmare <laughs> for me. The one ride it would I be such a quick on. like. It would be such a quick death. Though. Haunted Mansion or Tower of Terror. Oh my obviously. god, that would be like Those the slowest the death of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Those would be no. I don't. Even, I don't even want to think. You about know, that. someone's died on on the People Mover. I mean, surely. I mean, come on. No way. There's got to be I don't somewhere. Think so. I'm gonna look it up. I don't, I hope not. I don't see why. No. You know it. You know it. No, I don't think so. Well, hey, talking about dying, guess what, guys? We have t-shirts coming out soon. You've yeah, been dying that's for so these depressing. t-shirts. <laughs> Die wearing your Waltz World podcast t-shirt. No, it's, they've been dying to get a t-shirt with, with the Waltz World oh. logo on it. That's what it is. <laughs> That's so funny. Head That's over, so punny. I know. Head over to our Instagram at Walsh World Podcast and check out the designs. We have five different colors, black, white, gray, navy, like a dark navy. Well, not dark, but like a, it's more of a royal blue. Um, and then like a golden kind of it's orange like tangerine. Looking. Yeah, it's kind of tangerine looking, but it looks really cool. Actually, I was kind of surprised by how cool it looks. Um, but head over there, check out those colors, the styles, uh, super soft fabric it's next level brand if you're into small shops you know next level is one of the best super soft shirts you can get my yep. favorite personally my favorite small shop um t-shirts for sure um and we have a little a couple another shirt in the works that we hope to show off to you guys in the near future that we're pretty stinking excited about <laughs> <laughs> i hope teaser <laughs> I'm on a roll. So head over there. Tell us what color is your favorite on Instagram on that post. Let us know. Um, and we'll let you guys know when we release them, how you can get yours, all that jazz, how much they'll be, all that stuff. And if you see us in the parks when we're there in August, the 14th through the 19th, we will have a couple of shirts. That if you see us, you can get one early. Whoop, whoop. So it'll be cool. Or you can just take pictures with us wearing our shirts. That's true. Looking good. That's true. No. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope though. I hope maybe we'll see some people. I know. We're together I think, in August. I think that would so. be fun. I hope so. We'll we'll, I hope we'll so. make it clear where we're at and stuff like that for sure. All right, Kaylee. That's it. 
All right. Done. Bye. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bye. Good night. <laughs> All right. So that's it for this episode of the Walt World Podcast. We hope you guys enjoyed our show. As always, head over to iTunes. Give us a review. We would love to hear from you guys. Of course, leaving us a review always helps other people find our podcast. So hopefully you can do that and hook us up and help other people find us. If you want to shoot us a message, head over to Instagram at Walt World Podcast. Direct message us. Comment on our photos or posts, that kind of thing. Or shoot us an email, Podcast at gmail com we would love to hear from you guys and talk to you guys so with that i'm john and i'm kaylee we'll see you next week now we're done <laughs> now click